Well, Happy New Year to everyone out there. We are so, so excited to bring back in this brand new year a fabulous teacher's teacher. Yes, that is what we call Dr. Mir Schneider, PhD, a teacher's teacher. And the first thing that I want to talk about is the fact that most people resign and believe that the spine uh, problem should stay there. In fact, uh, most people believe that the little aches and pains that they have should be a part of the life and they should live with them or they become panicky about the aches and the pain and they always want to suppress them or not to face them. And one of the things that uh, I teach people is to do none of this, to sense the aches and the pains and see them as opportunity. And the opportunity is to sense the fact that the body doesn't use itself fully, that it is frozen in many ways because our uh, 21st century lifestyle and the second half of the 20th century lifestyle. And what happens to us is we're too sedentary. And I hope you will never be, Paula, knowing in what beautiful place you live, although now it's probably freezing cold and here it's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but nevertheless, I think it's very good for you to take walks, to be active. But that's the, the list of it. The main thing is that we are living in a world of achievement. People ask themselves, how far do I run? How many pounds did I lose? Um, how strong am I? And there is a place for that to some extent. But on the other end, doing that robs people from the opportunity of sensing the body and sensing what they can do with it. And here's what I want people to sense. If you have ache in your shoulder, it's possible that you are not moving the shoulder in full rotation. Also, it's possible that the muscles of your buttocks, the gluteus muscles, especially the gluteus minimus, is weak. And that if you strengthen that gluteus minimus, you would actually be able to move the shoulder in rotating motion. Now, if your hip is stiff, well, it's possible that you move the hip more in one way and in another. For example, more forwards than backwards, more forwards than sideways, that you bend. On the other end, if you stretch your shoulder and move the shoulder all the way, it is possible that by stretching a lot of the uh, muscles of the torso, you actually will be able to loosen up the hip because they're all connected. So what we need to learn through breathing and movement is how everything connects to everything. And that is the thing that is missing in our life. And that is what I want to teach people. I have a class next Saturday from 9 to 3.30 in um, our place, in the School for self Um so, so it's 9 to 3. So we're making a very short uh, class. And that class uh, is going to teach people how to mobilize their back and how to uh, function with the back in a way that they've never thought about before. Learning about muscles they never use and connections they never thought existed. And we have so many muscles that we never use. For example, how many people can really move their toe muscles properly? And yet, some people can feed themselves with the toes. Some people can play guitar with the toes. Um, how many people can actually walk backwards easily? sideways easily, rotate easily, we are very frozen in certain motion. And eventually, the price is we tire many of our muscles and restrict many of our joints. So we're starting with that class this coming Saturday on overcoming mm -hmm. back pain and preventing it. I had five legally blind ladies who improved their vision. I was very, very happy with them. They also all came to me for individual sessions in Portugal, <clears throat> and I was very surprised and who 
arranged it was a legally blind lady who came from Portugal to San Francisco to work with me and brought me back to Portugal. So that was a real good thing. So um, I just want to say, uh, those who want to come to us, come for your spine on the 21st. People can come to the spine, to the spine class. But the six-day eye class is already starting to have good registration. And to just give you a sense of how much improvement we have, in Germany, we measured people's vision in the first day and in the last day. We get people to measure each other's vision and tell them how to do it. They couple up. And we had many people in the class. We had something like 65 people who came to the class. But from them, only 27 took the whole six days because, you know, people don't have the full six days. So more people came on Friday uh, than any other day, but it was Thursday through uh, Tuesday. On Friday, we had 57 people. But on Tuesday, we finished with 31 people, and 27 of them took the whole class from beginning to end. And from those 27, 24 improved remarkably. And, uh, for example, one of my clients improved by uh, three lines on the chart. And for, that means from the same distance, she saw a uh, much smaller uh, print. And people don't even notice how much they improve until they look at the original measurement and last measurement. So the, the, the vision improvement is really phenomenal. And in fact, the beach, as you were talking, uh, Taz, is wonderful because we look at the waves and they really make our vision way better. I want to say to all the audience, to all the wonderful audience that you have, is believe in yourself. Breathe. Feel that you are capable to do a lot for yourself and uh, learn how much you can do it. And also, I'd like to suggest to all of you to look at my YouTube channel. There's so much there. You can look. It's all free. So it would be interesting.